Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Reverse Hive Mind. I'm your pal Sutherland, and today we're playing more Lost Judgment. And uh, apparently, I guess I need to wander out of the club room and then back into the club room in order to trigger the next um, event, as it were. Or maybe not. I'm confuserated by why I can't select it. So, first thing I'm going to do is check my school diary. Apparently we're 50% done with the photography club. That went fast. But that's okay, because it's kind of an odd side story. Uh, since you're just taking pictures of, you know, you're just taking pictures of students and uh, then apparently yelling at them to repent. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. What's up, girl? Can I? No. Apparently, I cannot trigger this yet. Um, I don't think that there is really anything else to do right now. Let me check my tasks for all my side cases. So I have to go look at look for Kappa statues. Don't really care right now. Stereo high bug signal, um, which cool story, but we can't do that until Nishizono's back, which requires uh, dance dance club progress. Um, the Phantom Ramen stall, which needs uh, nighttime. Good news is we got a couple kitty cats who will probably lead us to the stall once we get to a nighttime map. Um, we gotta go play some more Dyson Cube apparently. And then I need to find some e roses for Iyama, the uh, potion maker. And we've got a dropped item. I'm going to say it was probably this girl Excuse right me. here. Excuse me, I think you dropped this. My bicycle keys, thank you. I was getting ready to carry my bike home. And we got a mysterious stone for our trouble. Anyway. Um, oh, there, there we go. Apparently, I just needed to talk to somebody else. That was kind of strange. Anyway, in we go. Looks like we can clear the photography club. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Huh? Who's this, Taribe? Yagami-san. Oh, this is my mentor, Hikawa-san. A great and wise master. <sighs> you need to get out more, Taribe. Nice to meet you. I'm Kanto Hikawa, former president of the photography club. Oh, you're the retired president. <laughs> he taught me the fundamentals of camera work. He even developed his own philosophy of photography. Oh. Oh, wow. You know, the science of photography first emerged in the 19th century, and it brought about a major revolution in history. Hmm? What? In the old days, humans used a mirror to discover themselves as objects. But it was still just a mirrored relationship. Photography gave them the power to externalize the self as an actual being in the world. But this can only be done by cutting the self out from the, from the perspective of the big other. In other words, photography has the power to transform the cogito. Uh, it's an incredible phenomenon, but of course, what does it all mean? That is my current research topic. Huh. Okay. Very interesting. Taribe's mentor, huh? Kind of an oddball. Seems like Taribe got her whole shtick from him. Yeah, he's definitely going down a philosophy rabbit hole um, of how you see yourself and objectivizing yourself by using photography. Yagami-san! Yagami-san, would you like to hear Master Hikawa's entire lecture about the philosophy of photography? It's so fascinating. Uh, I think I'd rather watch paint dry, or perhaps swallow my gun. Huh? Huh? Yes, I'm thinking of writing a thesis paper for the university I'll be attending next year. I think it's, uh, or it's going to examine the popularization of photography through the spread of... Uh, daguerreotype, and also the transportation of the pub general public's ego, which resulted in... Actually, I was just talking to Taribe about this to get her feedback. Resulted in what we call... Alphabet. 
Um, uh, uh, well, I'd love to hear all about it, but I'm really busy, so I'll have to take a rain check today. I see. Well then. Thank God. <laughs> Do you, don't you think he's a member of the Intelligentsia, Yagami-san? He's definitely very good about prattling on about nothing, which is a lot of the Intelligentsia. Yeah, of course. Uh... Speaking of which, I actually had a favor to ask you about photographing the next delinquent student. Here we go. So who's our next target? The Hot Rodders. Hmm? Oh lord. Hot Rodders. Oh, you mean a motorcycle gang? Yes. Yes, they aren't as big a group as Made in Heaven. But they're still a troublemaking bunch, riding around the busy streets of Ijinsho without helmets or licenses. The horror. I mean, the cops will eventually r catch up with them and impound their bikes, but you know. Hmm. That does sound quite troublesome. <sighs> and the Serio students. So are we still trying to take pictures of them to uh, get them to reflect on their bad behavior and all that? Yes. Of course we are. I'd love it if you came with me to photograph the hot rodders, so please give me a shout when you're ready. Ah, let's -a go! Ready, Yagami-san? Time to head out and snap some pics with Taribe. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good to go. And let our noble mission begin. Oh, lord, girl. <laughs> she thinks she's like a knight or something. A paladin of the of the camera. Hmm? So this is where the biker gang's gonna be? Yes. Yeah, they should be coming any minute now. Eek! Oh, yeah! Make him eat dust, Takayan! Whoa! What even is that face? Hey! Yikes! Hey, careful! <laughs> Yeah, yeah! Nah. Enough with the yeahs. Hey. What about the police? Are we just not gonna call them? <sighs> I think someone already did, but it doesn't matter. As soon as cops show up, the bikers will scram. I see. Yeah, they will. I guess we'll have to photograph them before that happens, huh? I think they're circling this area. Let's take the pictures before they leave. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. But I also want them to reflect on their behavior, so I was hoping you could get all the annoyed citizens in frame, you know? Alright, I'll do my best. Now! Yeah. Alright. Oi. I maybe Really? All right, we'll try it again. I'm not sure what the exact moment of trouble is going to be. Now. Yeah, we'll retake it again. So, gonna go ahead. Apparently, they wanted it max zoom. So, apparently, it's gonna be stupid again. Oh, too early. We're gonna have to reshoot it. I'm just jumping the gun too early. So I'm not even gonna bother with this first one. I'm just gonna get in a position. Yeah, okay. Cool story. Now. All right, that's better. Perfect. 
So with this, at least we get a couple opportunities. I know I'm kind of stuck at this, but at least we're able to figure it out. So perfect. Got him. Photograph the biker gang. I got it, Taribe. Let me see. <laughs> nice, Yagami-san. Now that's a disturbing photo. Let's go use it to enlighten the biker gang. Ah. But you can't stop a biker gang. Sorry, it's just a terribly dumb quote from The Simpsons that I will never <laughs> uh, stop quoting. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. Surprised they stopped. Uh? You idiot. You trying to die or something? <laughs> but you stopped, and I knew you would. Because you still have a conscience somewhere inside. What? You're Kentaro Honjo, first year student at Serio High. Really, a first year? <laughs> How do you know my name? Look at this picture. Look at this photograph. Mm -hmm. The hell? <sighs> Don't you feel any shame bothering the innocent public like this? Uh? What the fuck did you just say? Yeah, I, I knew that her appealing to the conscious probably wouldn't work out too good. Please, I just want you to wake up. This isn't who you really are. Is it? You tell me what the hell your deal is, little girl. Got to do something before we end up in the same situation as last time. Hey. Hey, let's calm down. We're not trying to threaten or blackmail anyone. All she wants is for you guys to spare a little time to self-reflect. Oh. Did you say blackmail? So that's what this is about. <laughs> Freaking dumbass. It's like, listen to what he's saying. Huh? huh? You're trying to extort money from my pops because he's president of a real estate company. Nah. No, you C student. I just said we weren't. <laughs> you C student. Yeah, seriously. More like a D plus. Uh? Shut up. Go fuck yourself. Okay. I'm going to enjoy rearranging your face and your ass. Uh. <sighs> Damn it. Why does this always happen to us? Because it's a game that has a fighting system. All right, let's go. Well, that, that face mask might protect him from COVID, but it didn't protect him from that sign. Uh, let's see, what do I feel like doing? Oh, the good old Yakuza standby. I'm gonna get that bicycle out. Shit. Aw, oh, shit. Look at this. Ugh. That's design. Don't look away. This is you. This is your design. Uh? Okay, so what? Who cares? <laughs> Doesn't looking at this photo hurt your heart? I mean, you just turned away from it. Uh... Well, I bet that you already know what you're doing is a sin. Interesting choice of words. Just think. What if one of the people you almost hit had been pregnant? Or elderly? You can break an elder's leg and he'd never walk again. <laughs> Don't avert your gaze. Right now, as we speak, the, the good Takayan and the bad Takayan are fighting inside you. Interesting. Alfhaven, please. It's time to Alfhaven. Nobody knows what that means. <laughs> I know they tried to explain it earlier, but... <laughs> please stop. Tori Bay. Tori Bay, that's enough. Uh... Yagami-san. Hey. Now that you've seen that picture, do you realize now how foolish you've acted? You promise not to ride around like a crazy person ever again? Oh. Fine, I won't do it again. 
Honestly, I had no idea that I looked like this, riding around. Look, can we please stop now? <laughs> wow, that was incredibly effective. That, that was the profound power of photography. The power of objectifying the ego. I will say they had a bit more contrition than the uh, the last guy. I felt like the pickpocket didn't care. Master. Oh, hey, it's the master. Yeah. Tribe. I heard you're looking into the professor. Yes. Yeah, see, our next theme is delinquency. So I wanted to track down the professor since he's a mastermind at all. Stop doing that immediately. Huh? Oh, uh -huh. plot thickens here. Don't track him. Don't pursue him. But why not? Well, you shouldn't bring personal philosophy into a power struggle, Toribe. Hmm? What? You're risking letting the ideology swallow you up. Trust me, you will never find a way to marry philosophy and art together. But master. Hey. Hmm. So in the end, what do you think he was trying to say? Uh, basically, he's worried about me. Hmm. hmm. I'm not sure that's the right takeaway. Ikawa was telling us not to pursue the professor, so what are you going to do now? Well, Master Hikawa once said to me that the words of great philosophers are not to be taken literally. In fact, he once said that philosophical language can get so incomprehensible, sometimes there are decade-long fights over a single sentence in a philosophy book. Huh. Well, I don't know if Hikawa is a great philosopher, but what he says is definitely incomprehensible. That sounds to me like I'm free to interpret Master Hikawa's statement however I want. That's a very generous interpretation. You sure see the glass half full. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time to put my nose to the grindstone. I better keep an eye on her to make sure she doesn't get herself into too much trouble. Get the picture? Question mark? Cool. So, let's check it out. So we are 75% of the way done with the uh, photography club. So it says make an appearance at the photography club later. So uh, we will uh, wander away. I do believe, yeah, robotics, esports are all done. I don't believe that there's much of anything else. Are we injured? We are. We are slightly injured, so we're going to take a quick jaunt to the cafeteria to grab uh, a, an onigiri or an onigiri or something. Onigiri. Sorry, using the white guy pronunciation of Japanese cuisine. An onigiri. Go down there, get one of them onigiris. Get that tapanyaki. So, yeah, we'll go down, get ourselves rice ball or something. We'll see what they got. Because I just spaz out and run into the lunch ta the lunch counter. So that's what we got. Kitsune Udon. Kitsune, like fox? Interesting. Uh, ramen. Light show you ramen, chashu, ooh, it's a pork, chashu pork, Naruto fish cake. It's made out of real Naruto date bio. Uh, green onions, wakame seaweed, katsudon, hey, pork, the ace of the bowl world, pork, ta pork katsu topped with eggs. That actually does sound really good. Curry and rice, and a karage set, chicken karage. Can't go wrong with fried chicken, but honestly, the freaking katsudon sounds fantastic. Wish I had an actual Starving. katsudon here. That looks delicious. Pretty tasty. Thanks. 
Okay, so we have filled up. So it would appear the photography club room has not reset yet. So come on now. We will uh, run down here. That little file folder should pop up any second now. I will check in on the skills. Uh, we're almost a f we're almost back to where I started when um, before I started spending all this stuff. Uh, definitely want boost attack level six. So I guess we're holding on to the SP for now. Which is perfectly fine. Uh, I don't want this to be too boring. So. I guess we'll go down and we will uh, finally hit the faculty room. Really? I'm not using the elevator when there's a staircase right here. Like, come on. Yeah, photo club stills. A thing. Apparently, I decided to run the wrong direction. The wrong direction. So, pick up some dirty iron and then double back. Photo club still doing their thing. Talk to this dude real quick. Lost again. I just want to get to the classroom on the third floor. Second floor is two lines in the hallway wall. The third floor is three. Just same call. So he knows, and he can count. And there's a big ass two on the wall. It's like, come on, bro. Okay. We're doing it! I'm gonna do a thing! Let's see... What Sawa Sensei has to say. Oh. Uh, what is it, Yagami-san? Sensei, do you have a minute? I... Saw the video of Miko Shiba-kun. So you did. That video, right? I thought Ehara-san was convicted for a sex offense. How could he be in that video killing Miko Shiba-kun? But then that video looked so real. Most likely it is. As you unfortunately had to witness, Ehara-san committed murder with his own two hands. Which means, as far as the groping that day goes, there's some deception at work. A uh, deception? Are you familiar with Ahara-san's victim in the case? Her name is Yui Mamiya. I don't think I recognized her, no. Thirteen years ago, she attended Kurokawa Academy. Her maiden name is Yui Suzuki. Yui Suzuki? Just a minute. Are you saying she was the one Ahara-san groped? So you do know her, then? Were you two classmates? We were, in our third year of high school. I had a hunch. You didn't know she was the victim of that whole incident? I mean, it's just so hard to believe. Does this all seem like a wild coincidence to you, then? Your old student's father gropes one of your high school classmates at a station with three million daily travelers. What are you implying? I'm saying your old friend Yui might be cooperating with Ahara-san. As in, she only played the part of a victim. She might have even known it was all to hide a murder. What? But why? Why would she do that for him? She really doesn't seem to know of any connection between Ihara and Mamiya. If this is all an act, she's an amazing actress. Yeah, she may not know anything. From where I'm sitting, Sensei, you're connected to Ahara and Yui Mamiya. I just need your help figuring out what that connection is. Yagami-san, please. Are you implying I was some kind of liaison between them? Well, Sensei, what was your relationship with Yui Mamiya? Were you close? Or would you say classmates covers it? The two of us were never really that close. To be honest, I didn't really like the group of kids she hung out with. I guess you could say we didn't have the same interests. When was the last time you saw her? 
Did you have a high school reunion by any chance? They held a reunion around the time I graduated from college. But I didn't feel like going. That same class bullied a kid into jumping off the roof. So if that's the case, you haven't seen any of your classmates since you all graduated from Kurokawa? That's right. Okay, then. The thing is, Ahara-san and Mamiya are connected. It is kind of loose, but it's there. They have one thing in common. What? In both of their pasts, someone they knew was bullied to the point of attempting or committing suicide. Ahara-san lost his son, Toshiro-kun, and as for Yui Mamiya, it's her classmate, Mitsuru Kusumoto. That could be a factor, especially for Mamiya. It's possible that Ahara-san would be a sympathetic figure to her. Maybe enough to help construct an alibi for his revenge. It's possible she only played the part of a groping victim. What do you think? Does it have any merit, or is my theory full of holes? Even if you're on the right track... Um, Sawa-sensei? We're just waiting on you to start the staff meeting. Oh, sorry, I'll be right there. What happened 13 years ago at Kurokawa? That might be the last piece of the puzzle. What about Yui Mamiya? How'd she react when Mitsuru Kusumoto tried to kill himself by jumping off that roof? I'm sorry, I'm already late for my meeting. I'm trying to ask you about a murder here. To Ahara, every unanswered question is a victory for that man. He's only a step away from walking for it. And I know Mamiya had other conspirators. It took more than one person to murder Mikoshiba. They're still at large, even as we speak. I'll be honest. I came here today with the suspicion that you might be more involved in this murder than you're letting on. A suspicion? Nothing you've said has made me feel any better about it. And what should I do about that, huh? I just want you to tell me... How are Ahara-san and Mamiya connected beyond what I've already figured out? I think you have the key to that answer, even if you don't know that you're the one holding it. It's like a lock. And until I figure out how to get through it, I'm gonna keep picking at it. I told you. I'm late for a meeting. I'll be here when you get back. Have a good meeting. <sighs> Suit yourself. It's not going great, but at least I learned she was classmates with Mamiya. I'll take the wins where I can get them. Salritan will want to hear that later, too. Alright, it says leave the high school. I don't know if I can... Apparently there's nothing going on with the photography club right now. Not sure how much later... I was supposed to run by there. But whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll fuck off for now. We will head out into the wild, wild wilderness that is I Izazaki and Jin Jincho. Oh yeah, I was going to tell Saori-san about Sawa-sensei and Mamiya. Hey, Saori-san? It's Yagami. Hey, did you manage to talk to Sawa-sensei? Yeah, turns out she really was in Mamiya's class. And they were both aware of the suicide incident with their classmate. Good to know. While we're on the topic, Hoshino-kun got his hands on some new info. Let's hear it. The bully at Kurokawa High was named Shinya Kawai. He transferred out right after Mitsuru-kun jumped, as if he were running away. Once he came of age, it looks like he worked here in Kamurocho. Wow. You really can find a lot online. Yes. And to top it off, Kawai earned a reputation for talking about how he drove a classmate to suicide. Like he's proud of it. Maybe he thought he'd get a laugh in Kamurocho. Probably would. Kawai was more or less a Yakuza. So we never swore into it. I just sent you his picture. It was taken five years ago. <laughs> what? This guy? You recognize him? Not too long ago, some RK punks came asking his whereabouts. Said he was a girls' bar manager who went missing. Yeah, it looks like he did work at a girls' bar. 
but we don't know which one. Okay, so the guy's definitely suspicious. What business would RK have with him? Do you know if they ever found him? No, but their leader, Soma, said something about Kawhi having already been killed. Like he just vanished from Kamurocho a few years ago, and that was it. Wait, he was killed? Uh-huh. Kinda gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawhi and Mikoshima, two known school bullies. And they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawhi. Could be. Okay. We'll investigate Kawhi a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. How was it, Sari-san? What did Yagami-san have to say? He said he recently ran into some RK members looking for Shinya Kawhi. Did he? He also said R.K. later told him Kawhi had been killed. Hmm. This is getting scarier with every new lead. Now that you mention it, I have seen people getting stopped and asked about someone all over town. But if those were R.K. on the hunt for Kawhi, could it have something to do with our case as well? Putting aside the connection between Mikoshiba and Kawhi, why is, sudden, why is R.K. suddenly so involved? I'm honestly not sure how R.K. could be involved in all this. I'm going out for a bit, Hoshino-kun. Do me a favor and keep digging up what you can on Kawaii. Wait, what? Sometimes you have to get out in the field. It can't just be Yagami-san all the time. Well, apparently we get to uh, control Saori. Uh, which, that's a new one. So, cool. Uh, we'll do that in the next video. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment, uh, help us out with the algorithm, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.